good to me. Ah, uh, worthy. Worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. Think about his goodness and what he's done for me. I want to dance, dance, dance all night because of how good he's been. And right now, Father God, we just bask, Lord, right now. We just bask in your love, Lord. We bask in your peace. Come together around the world in praise and worship and fellowship. Loving you around the world. Leaving the world at the door. The world cannot come in when we enter into his presence. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And right now we are in that secret place where no demon in hell, not even the devil himself, can come into the presence of the Lord. When you're in his presence, you're able to rest completely He said, come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So right now, Father God, as we enter in to your presence, to feel your love, to feel your peace, to feel your presence surrounding us right now. Touching right now, healing right now, peace beyond understanding, that's what it's all about. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. His peace he gives us through his promises, his promises and his word is our job to do one thing to, eat, to, to keep living by the word 
every day, every way. Thank you, Jesus. Living by the word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.
by the word. Be anxious for nothing. But in prayer, let your request be made known, made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. And living by the word helps you achieve that. To be doers of the word and not hearers only. The blessings are in the doing of the word. The miracles are in the doing of the word. To cast all our care on you, Lord. Like your word says, cast all our care on you. If you care for each one of us, Lord. And right now, as we just rest in this peace, peace be still. If there's any area of your life right now trying to rise up and steal your joy, just say, peace be still. In the name of Jesus, let's say it together. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Speak it over whatever you're dealing with. Whatever's trying to steal your joy. Whatever's trying to steal your peace of mind. Over whatever is not like God. Speak it. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat of its fruit. What are you speaking the most? What are you speaking? Peace or anxiety? Peace or fear? Peace or worry? As a man thinks, so he is. We must control our thoughts and our words. Our thoughts and our words. Both of them define what we attract into our life. Both affect what you attract into your life. As a man thinks who he is, and life and death in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat of his fruit. And that's why it comes back to the verse, to keep your mind stayed on him so that you speak the word. You think about the word instead of fear. You think about his promises instead of worry. You think about God's almighty power instead of fear. But we are in control of that. We are in control of that and we must commit to do those things to keep our mind stayed on him so he can carry us through the storm carry us over the storm the song the dancer is all about that carry me lord
through the storm. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. For everything, there is a season. So whatever you're going through right now, that season will come to an end. And that's why we hold on to God's unchanging hand. He's the same yesterday, today, forevermore. And right now, Father God, we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day. Every day. Have your way. In every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence. And say, use me, Lord. Use me. As you see fit for the kingdom. We lay everything on the altar right now, Lord, that is not like you. We lay down every worry, every fear, every stress, every anxiety, every struggle, every attack, every infirmity, whatever is not like God, lay it on the altar right now. And let go. Let go. Don't be afraid to let it go. Give it to the Lord and let it go. We must let things go and give it to the Lord in prayer. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never, ever let go, Lord. We never, ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panted for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single Day. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power within us.
And if you really let go just now, if you really let go, you should feel the weightlifting right now. If you really let go, you should feel God's peace coming over you right now. Feel the peace. The peace beyond understanding. The peace that doesn't make sense in chaos. The peace that doesn't make sense when you're going through something, yet you still hold your peace. Have no fear. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord. The struggles you see today, you will see no more forever. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall what? Hold your peace. The Lord will heal. Hold your peace. The Lord will make a way out of no way. Hold your peace. Our main mission is to do one thing. Hold your peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold your peace. Because God is real. God is so real. The name of the song, Divine Sunset, God is real. The only way we're all here right now is because God has been so real to each one of us here. In this place, God is real.
God is so real. To each one of us. The reason we're all here right now is because God has been good to each one of us to allow us to be here right now. We could have been taken out years ago by something in this world. But God, but God kept us. God protected us. God saved us. But God, because God is so real. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
ascension. To let our spirit ascend and merge with God's spirit. To let God's peace take over. To give everything to the Lord in prayer like we're doing right now. Receive it right now. Receive the peace. Let the Spirit of the Lord take over right now and immerse you with His peace. Immerse you with His healing. Immerse you with His love. To see his face more and more. More peace. More love. More of his presence. More of you, Lord. We come together as a fellowship to get closer and closer to you. get more and more of you Lord more and more
As we worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, we open our heart right now. We open our heart and let you come in completely to bring healing and peace and comfort to bring whatever it is we need because you are whatever we need you to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Yes. Peace be still. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful night to come together and just rest in you, Lord. To come together as a fellowship and lose it in your presence. To be able to experience peace beyond understanding. To be able to hold your peace no matter what adversity you're going through in your life. The peace beyond understanding keeps us grounded. It reminds us who's in charge. It reminds us that God is still in control of everything. Be still. Thank you, Jesus. Before we close, I always know someone's watching or listening or visiting who doesn't understand why we come here together around the world in praise and worship and fellowship, having never met physically. Someone's watching right now who doesn't understand that. That when you're brothers and sisters in Christ, that's our bond. That's our commonality. Come together around the world, brothers and sisters in Christ, in the body of Christ, the way it should be. So right now, I'm going into the closing prayers. As always, please, no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted out of respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening or watching for the first time. You heard the praise and the worship and you see the love on this fellowship. But right now, you're not connected because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress is all over you. Family is turning away from you. Friends stabbing you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel. Have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now. Physically. Spiritually or emotionally, that's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back into a life of sin and now your life is falling apart because you went back to the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you, once you leave God or fail God, you could never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said a prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking as a backslider in guilt and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now you're walking in hopelessness and negativity and fear and worry. Or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins. And was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. 
and I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you. In Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guides us, and also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, in every other demonic spirit, named unnamed, seen unseen, who he tried to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of a mind, out of a spirit, out of a home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, loose. Reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep hedge protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we were healed. And every day, Lord, every day, we thank you and we confess it. I believe I receive my healing. Thank you, Jesus. I believe I receive my healing. Every day, confess it, see it, believe it, live it, expect it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose. Supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural Dead cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord, rain down on a fellowship and financial need, whatever it is. For you to supply all our need according to your riches in glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, I shall not want for anything, but the Lord is my shepherd. For with the head and not the tail, we're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are truly God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, now we know every day, we take time every day to see it. Visualize your miracle every day. See it, believe it, and receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But 
because we don't know when. That means any day you wake up could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect it every day. May Lord bless you and keep your family. May Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace that you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray over, a blessing to everyone you pass by and bless without opening mouth because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, including leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let fellowship say, Amen. Amen. Amen.